<laughs> Fuck you. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Ichabod Orange. Uh, despite <clears throat> how much I'm trying to sound not sick, uh, I have come down with a case of strep throat. For someone like me, that isn't necessarily even close to, <clears throat> to a good thing. So I'm going to be a little hacky during this video, so heads up. As you all know, the guy from, what was it, Linkin Park? Lincoln Park passed away. He was the lead singer. He committed suicide. I have seen a couple of posts on Twitter, however, of people happy that a dude committed suicide because he was white. Now, I'm going to light a cigar, and then we're going to have a smoky rant. Look here, motherfuckers. <clears throat> white, black, brown, yellow, goddamn fucking whatever race you are on the goddamn planet, guess what? It doesn't fucking matter. The man took his own life. Whether it was because his place in the world had become disturbed, whether his world had become crashing down around him, <clears throat> whether it was something completely irrelevant or inane, a man lost his life. And you decided, let's make fun of it. Where I can appreciate that on some level. The fact that I can appreciate it is a bad thing. I am a sociopath. I, I can appreciate anything. <clears throat> Admiring you for having the balls <clears throat> to say good riddance to this guy. I'll give you that. I admire your ability to not give a fuck about a man dying. However, what I don't like is taking the reason the man did it and making it worse. It's like uh, when Robin Williams killed himself. If somebody had come up and said, well, p black people were making jokes long before to deal with slavery, and it's good that he killed himself because he was making jokes, and that's a black person thing. No. Fuck you and fuck your fucking cultural appropriation. Eat a fat fucking dick, okay? Because I, I, I don't have time. I don't have the time or the fucking patience to get out the full length of the insanity or stupidity in that statement. If you or someone you know and love ha is feeling like they want to commit suicide, don't take that shit like that. Don't take it like, oh, well, he's white, so I mean at least he can apologize for all the shit the white people do. Fuck you. From the Native Americans. From the goddamn gypsies. People who were thrown in with all the Jews during the Holocaust. And people who were given smallpox blankets as a thank you gift. <laughs> From us? Fuck you. And your stupid shit. We are an inclusive and social species. If I want to go down to Mexico, find a particularly delicious tequila drink, Bring it back to the States and sell it at a bar. Eat a fucking dick. It's none of your fucking business. It is goddamn entitled bullshit to think just because you happen to be the right shade of fucking brown to have this particular topic as something in your fucking culture doesn't mean you fucking own it. A man died. Be a fucking adult and treat it like it does, uh, like we would when any other person would die. That's sad. I wish he had gotten the help he needed. He took his own life. That is horrible. Not oh good because he was white. Fuck you. This anti-white PC bullshit is going to dig a fucking hole you can't dig out of. And quite frankly, I'm gonna laugh my ass off when you can't dig out of it. When whatever fucking new race law that gets passed about how you can't speak bad about minorities applies to white people too. Because I'm going to sit back and I'm going to laugh. 
as your dumb asses go to jail for laws that you wanted to be put on the books so people couldn't say maybe it's not a good idea to let actual fucking terrorists into the goddamn country. Maybe it's a good idea to have a fucking vetting process for immigrants. My uncle had to go through that vetting process. And you want to know the difference between him and an asshole selling oranges on the street? My uncle has a job. He is a fucking tax-paying American citizen. With a fucking job. With a social security number. And with everything he fucking needs to be an American citizen. He did the fucking work to become an American citizen. And I understand... Having been born in the U.S., I didn't have to fucking work for my citizenship. That's a thing. Yeah, some people don't have to fucking work for their citizenships. But you know what? If you're coming from another country, bringing your shit with you, there is going to be bureaucratic red tape. And if you go around it, you're breaking a law. And if you want to break the law, fine. But do not come crying to me. The Space Raccoon! When your green card gets revoked because you stayed 10 years too long and had 9 kids over here in the U.S. They can stay. They were born here. You gotta go. You're a fucking criminal. And here's the sad, sorry truth of the matter. When you say an illegal immigrant has done nothing illegally wrong, they crossed the border without going through the proper channels. They committed a fucking crime. Fuck you. Fuck cultural appropriation. It's retarded. I will say that word. Fuck off comment section. It's retarded. It's ridiculous. And you should be not only so goddamn ashamed of yourself. Fucking Twitter should be ashamed or even fucking allow you to have one. You're a private business, Twitter. Get off that shit and fucking do it. Get rid of some fucking people who are actually pieces of shit. I'm Ichabod Orange. I've got raccoon shit to do. Eat a fucking dick. Good night. I hope you die in the fire.